Yo, 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 it's Cinderella, so what up? Today I'm gonna show you how you can cut a shirt to be longer in the front and a little bit shorter in the back. You have it shorter in the back, it shows off the small of your back, which is your skinniest point, so it's just more flattering. And you just wanna figure out how much you're gonna cut off the bottom first. I already tried it on, and I know I wanna cut off about a hand's width off the front of the shirt. So what you're gonna do now is grab the front of the shirt, and we're gonna fold the shirt in half sideways. Grab each side seam, and then arrange the shirt like this. So right now there's a fold down the center back of the shirt and the center front of the shirt. And we're just going to make sure those seams are right on top of each other and smooth out any wrinkles, especially at the bottom where we're going to be cutting. And when you've smoothed out all the wrinkles, you can turn the shirt towards you and we're going to start cutting at the front. So I'm going to start cutting at the front of the shirt about a hand's width up from the bottom. I'm just going to cut straight into the shirt and just slowly start to angle up as you get towards the back. You can cut right through the side seams, and that's when you really want to start angling up more. But when you get to the back of the shirt, you want to be cutting straight and not up at a point, or else there's going to be a point at the back of your shirt. We're cutting straight through the back, like that. So now we can take this fabric away. If you pull on the shirt, it will roll up a bit, and you won't have to sew this down because cotton is a knit fabric, so it's not going to fray. Now you can see your shirt is shorter at the back and longer at the front. So now we're all done. So your shirt is longer at the front and shorter at the back. Nice and flattering. Thanks for watching Cinderella Sew, and I'll see you soon. Peace.